Welcome to our Wednesday edition on this 9th of March. It's 2022. I'm Austin Reed coming to you from our Tower District Studios inside the Mike Briggs building. We thank you for joining us. Hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Austin Reed on air. As we have all been watching with just... I mean, for me personally, watching what's happening in Ukraine is disgusting. Uh, it's sad. It's uh, There's so many emotions tied to this. Um, but something that is obviously the biggest story here at home in relation to the Russia-Ukraine war, gas prices. And we are seeing them whoop, go up. Our, I'm going to call you our... Vehicle expert. I guess that works. Well, I guess it's time to trade in your trucks now, <laughs> yeah. right? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, bring the trucks in. Yeah. Uh, Andre Used Cars Fresno is here. And I reached out to you earlier this week. I said, Andre, here, you know, I'm watching this situation. Are, are you watching this situation? You're like, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, so, first, let's, let's start with what you are seeing. It, it, you know, in in the auto industry. Well, uh, particularly with Ukraine, there's there was a they're going to cut production in uh, new new uh, vehicles. It was it was announced a couple of days ago. Okay, um, that's going to put a hurt on Hyundai, uh, a lot of the import market. Mm -hmm. um, Ukraine does supply a lot of uh, products, uh, catalytic converters, the nickel, which is going to play a big effect. So people are going to under, understand it's going to be really hard to get the parts now. It's really hard as it is, and nobody working and. <laughs> And whatever yeah. what they want to call it, but now we're gonna have a shortage of parts. They're saying semiconductors again, more surges in pricing, but the surge in pricing is coming from the new car franchise stores. You know these big fancy stores, uh, they're the ones that set the prices for the vehicles. Um, you know you're talking about you know six to ten, twelve thousand dollars over MSRP right now on new car franchise. Really tough to get a car, especially if you want to get a 2022. Mm -hmm. You know you walk into the store, say hey, I want to want to pay the price on a vehicle. No, it's not gonna happen. You have to buy. Like paint protection products. I don't know. It doesn't work. I need to say wax your car. You know, I'm not gonna pay fifteen hundred bucks for for a paint protection or maybe some of that Scotch Guard on there. It costs five bucks, six dollars at at the dollar store. You can just spray it on there, protect your your seats. Um, I mean, there's a lot of ways. I mean, you want to get the oil changes? I thought you know Walmart's the cheapest place to get an oil change, and they do stamp it. So mm -hmm. do you want to pay eighty nine dollars an oil change or go to Walmart and and save some value? Uh, Is it? Would you say that in your experience? an oil change from Walmart compared to, I'll just say, Jeffy Lube? Well, you know, Walmart's going to be, I mean, your safest uh, place probably get for the oil changes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's all the, 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 small, the smaller oil places that will do your, your oil changes, but the thing is, they're not going to stamp the Carfax report. The most important thing, you know, especially when you want to trade in your car the, or your warranty issues, if there's something that ever happened, you've got to have proof of those oil changes of maintenance on the vehicle, which is the most important thing. So that's, that's a big factor, especially if you're picky about your, your car history. Mm -hmm. You know, some people are in and out of their cars within a year, two years. Especially my clients, you know, we buy a car for eight. They're going to hold it. Their first time buyer is going to hold a car for six to eight months. And they're going to trade that car in. I'm going to trade them out, put them in something Hollywood. And now they're, you know, they're, they're getting more car for their dollar. That's the most important thing. Yeah. And then, and, uh, and they're happy too. Yeah. Yeah. So a shortage on, on one side. Yes. But um, I don't have a shortage right now in cars. Uh, I'm not feeling. I know the bigger stores. I know there are a lot of them are empty. But I got inventory coming in. Uh, I'm, I'm buying heavy. Um, and no issues here. You know, go to usedcarsfresno.org. Look at the inventory. I got a big section of Hondas, Toyotas, uh, muscle cars, Tahoes, trucks, even more trucks. Um, yeah, if you want to sell your truck, hey, I'll buy. I'll buy your truck. You want it right now? <laughs> I'll buy all the trucks I can. Yeah, definitely. Such high definitely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just because you have a short, I mean, higher gas prices. Mm -hmm. This is America, right? Mm -hmm. People are not going to stop driving their vehicles because the gas prices are high. They might just cut back, you know, on their Starbucks, their their Dutch Bros, but they're 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 going to enjoy the lavish life because this is what California is all about. You know, living up with the Jones. You know, I want to have the Tahoe. I got to have the Mercedes. The Mercedes person, they're going to cut back. He might cut back on his staff or, or maybe other things, but his driving <laughs> technique, you know, he, he's like, hey, I'm going to have to give you a, a rate cut, you know, yeah. but I, I'm going to enjoy my life. You know, am I going to make, I mean, I want to enjoy my car. And that's why people buy certain vehicles because mm -hmm. 
They love the way it drives, you know, the way it makes it feel as a person. So right now, the rates haven't gone up yet. They're still at about 2.64 mm -hmm. if you have good credit. Uh, First-time buyer program is still at 3.99, as low as 3.99. So still a good time to buy a vehicle if you want to trade up from nine months ago. Mm -hmm. There's still value in your vehicle to get out of your vehicle and to get you something newer. Talk a little bit about these gas prices. Now, you were saying, I mean, right now, the, the highest I've seen was, I think, in Los Angeles yesterday around 750. Mm -hmm. I have seen some gas stations around here, maybe for what's right above regular un unleaded or no i use supreme supreme yeah, 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 yeah supreme's expensive so yeah so uh, supreme i saw like that 650 in some spots mm -hmm. uh here in fresno do you see gas prices continuing to boop, doo, 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 doo? um well they're gonna predict um crude oil going to 300 dollars a barrel which can cause probably gas to go to 15 but that's what that's another issue so i mean uh, for the good people out there uh, maybe those the politicians can you just please open up some fracking, allow more drilling? So, you know, just announce it so we can get the prices to go back down. Because everything right now is on speculation. So if you say we're going to ban this, put sanctions on this, mm -hmm. you're going to get increase in gas prices. But you have to be, I mean, you, you got to help. If the politicians are for the people, you know, for everybody, hey, open up some of these, uh, these oils. Let's get everything, start, let's start pumping. Announce it. Uh, lay off the red tape. And the gas prices would come back down again. Because it's what, what, what about? Um, do you have any advice for people? Uh, you know, over the next, I don't know, three months. Uh, maybe if they are in the market for a new ride, if they do want to save money on gas, maybe go with something part electric. Or um, what's your thought on that? Well, you know, here's another thing like too. Get a gas saver. Well, here, here's the thing too, especially my clientele, right? Mm -hmm. They're still gonna drive the scat packs, the chargers, you know, um, muscle cars. Um, convince them to buy a Prius and go on a date with the guy that drives. If you have, say a guy has a Prius, <laughs> just please go on a date. That girl's not gonna want to date you if you're driving a Prius. I'm sorry, <laughs> right? <laughs> so it's, my uncle has a Prius. Uh, he has as an example, but you, you can't force a young kid to buy a Prius when he's stuck on a Camaro. When he's stuck in that mentality, um, so to go part electric, I, I know you know you have Tesla, mm -hmm. but do people want to wait forty five minutes to charge up your car? I mean, I want to be in and out of a gas station. Do you, do I like the Tesla car? It's a I, it's it has its own niche market. Will I personally own one? No, I just don't like the way it looks. It doesn't make no sound. Mm -hmm. It doesn't excite me. It, does, it it it's just a different type of car. Um, to convince the normal people to go that route, and plus they're, they're overpriced. Well, that's, and, and, and yeah. I wanna talk about that. I mean, why are they, you know, so expensive? Because well, if, 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 they, if, if they brought them down, I feel like that would help the whole country. Well, $100,000 for a car to drive itself, you're gonna pay 100,000. You want the car to drive yourself? You wanna be right. a lazy driver? <laughs> <laughs> you know, pay the 100 grand, <laughs> you know? But for 100 grand, you can get more value for your dollar. Right. But for the most people, there's people that, that can't afford those. Yeah. You know, especially here in the Central Valley when average people are making about $2,600 a month. So they can't afford the Tesla. Mm -hmm. They can barely not even afford a Prius, right. you know? So, you know, the, the buy electric cars, you know, I'm not a big fan of them. Um, I know there's, I mean, a lot of dealerships don't even sell a lot of the electric cars. Um, it's just new, it's, it's- It's still new. It's still new, but they're not, appealing mm -hmm. they don't have that look they don't have any sound yeah you know it's, it's kind of i mean people want to hear the muffler the, you know that's the roar on certain, on certain a feeling and those cars don't provide that it just get you from point a to point b maybe it's a good second car uh, yeah <laughs> if you have an extra hundred i think more people bikes. start driving bikes but <laughs> yeah it's it's a it's a it's a different type of car um mm -hmm. I haven't. I know. I know. China just produced uh, a big, uh, almost what, almost half a half a five hundred thousand uh, new electric cars to put on the market. But do they make quality cars? No. No. I mean, I mean, I mean would you drive a smart car? Like the the little that, 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 that little box car? Uh, no, I would not. Oh my god! I'd like be a, scared to death. Oh my god! Well, yeah. I mean, I, I, you can't put you can't pay me to be to send that thing. <laughs> I don't think I'll fit in the car with my legs. 
But um, no, I, I, it's going to be a, a, a people's preference if they do want to go that route, mm-hmm. and they're if they're desperate and they want to drive these these looking these funny looking cars, I call them. But I mean, hey, maybe the industry will change and, and continue to make them more. Uh, it's going to be tough, but for right now, I'm pro gas, and hopefully, we can get the gases back down to three dollars a gallon. And it's going to be our politicians to kind of step up and say, hey, we're for the people, not for the environmentalists. You know the the Green Party. So, you know, I'd like to see uh, these prices go down to gas, but I don't see anytime soon. Not anytime. So, uh, but it's still okay to buy a car, though. Yeah, you gotta get for point. You still got. You still need a dependable vehicle to get to work, right? Yeah, this ain't New York City. <laughs> well, yeah, there's no. There's no train. Yeah. Well, no. What happened to that big rail train? It's supposed to be one that goes the bullet to nowhere. Oh yeah, but uh, well, uh, I think they started on that like 30 years ago. I don't know what happened. I want to. I, I want to ride the train. You say you can get. I to, do too. I want to. Uh, yeah, I like to take a trip to Wasco. I mean, what's in Wasco, right? <laughs> Let's go to Lodi. <laughs> All right, uh, usedcarsfrozen.org. Yeah, come see us. Uh, best time to buy a vehicle right now. My name is Mr. Hollywood. Call or text me, 559-903-5522. I'll get you price, down payments, and monthly payments. Very good. Uh, we'll see you soon. Thank All you, right, brother. thank you. Our vehicle expert, Car Avenue, uh, Mr. Hollywood. I'm Austin Green. You're watching Central Valley Talk. We're back with uh, another guest coming up. Uh, we're talking uh, about uh, her book. Her name is Lori Roche. That's next. All right, that was good. <laughs>